What's up guys, Baker here. Today I am back with another tutorial. This is the 30 to 60 FPS conversion kind of trick thing. So basically, with YouTube recently enabling the 60 frames per second support and everything, uh, it almost becomes essential, well not really essential, but it just makes your videos that much better if they are 60 frames per second. It makes them look a lot more smooth and just, it's awesome. So it's just a little trick to convert a clip that is 30 frames per second into 60. I want to say a few things first. Uh, this trick does not necessarily work super well with video game footage. So in that case, I'm going to show you some actual camera footage um, shot and uh, show you that. Um, and second, if uh, someone sends you a 30 frames per second clip anyways, you can just, you know, throw it away and tell them, you know, get your recording settings right. Come on. Get with the times. Stupid. But, yeah, let's just say you're forced somehow to use this 30 frames per second clip and you want to edit it. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look. So you can see through the uh, attributes here, we got 30 frames per second clip. So I'm just going to start a new composition and we can scrub through here and yep, 30 frames per second. Pretty cool. So <clears throat> it's a pretty simple trick. All you got to do really is just go into your composition settings, change 30 into 60 and enable this twice for frame blending and click the frame blending button. That's pretty much it. So if you RAM preview that, let's take a look. I think the first couple seconds is just uh, nonsense, just standing there. So like I said, you're going to get warping pretty much always, no matter what, with video game footage, especially if you're spinning a lot or there's a lot of movement. So one thing I like to do is just add a little bit of real smart motion blur just to kind of hide the warping. So like up here, you can kind of see it. So I don't know, maybe make this 1.5, whatever you feel like. It kind of hides the warping a little bit. But, um, you know, if you got some color correction or some flashes or wiggle or whatever, it might hide everything altogether. And um, yeah, now it's 60 frames per second. Pretty cool, besides this warping. So one thing I want to say about the warping is let's say <clears throat> it looks good over here because he's just running and there's not really too much movement or spinning or whatever and I want to disable it when he's moving this gun because that just looks way too warpy well it's pretty simple just take the spot where you want it to stop split it go to the uh, first piece and just disable the frame blending so now it just looks normal no warping at all and then we have frame blending on the second half pretty cool so you can decide when you want the frame blending the 60 frames per second thing now here's another scenario something that kinda pisses me off sometimes uh, let's say they recorded the clip as 30 frames per second but the player thought you know what I can just re-render this as 60 and it'll make everything fixed so if I pre-compose this and we look at this it's actually every two frames is the exact same frame which is actually a lot worse because the trick uh, is a little bit trickier so what we have to do with this and this is the only way to do it that I found actually um, right click trans uh, time time stretch 50 percent so the speeds it up twice as fast so if you check every frame it will change now which is good but we need to now add Twixter, drag that on, and set this to 60, set this to 50, and let's also contrast edge enhance. So if we look at this, it's kind of blending in between frames at the actual speed of the clip, and uh, yeah, again there's warping, there's always going to be warping you guys, come on. So again you can add some real smart motion blur to you know try to hide that or, or whatever um, let's take a quick look at that squeak little chipmunks so that's just a quick way to blend it again can't really avoid the warping but let's say you're shooting like a short film or maybe like a little action film or whatever here's a clip of me shooting the 50 cal uh, magnum that thing was like crazy 
but it's uh, 29.97 so that's fine I can just uh, change the comp to 60 enable frame blending enable the button ram preview this and it'll be 60 frames per second nice and smooth pretty much no noticeable warping at all and it's it's awesome so yeah pretty cool if you have any questions let me know um, here's another thing I guess I want to mention let's say for some reason your clip is uh, pre-composed so let's pretend this is actually your main comp and then this clip here is some pre-composed clip let's say leave all the attributes and I want to so there's like stuff inside or whatever and I want to you know frame blend this guy but there's no frame blend button right here that's because it's a pre comp but that's fine you can just go inside click on this button go back to your main comp and it'll start frame blending on the outside so just a little uh, technical thing so that's pretty much it uh, super quick easy trick to turn 30 into 60 frames per second just uh, be careful with the warping you can try to hide it with motion blur or just not use 30 frames per second clips altogether but um yep yeah, super cool trick hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment if you have any questions hit me up on Facebook and Twitter and that is it alright peace